talking about Hanukkah and about lighting the menorah. When we first started to light the menorah on Fifth Avenue, uh, the year was 1977, Tovshin Lamed Ches. Firstly, the first night, the Debitson came at 12 o'clock at night. The Debitson personally came to see the menorah on Fifth Avenue. And she said later that the people in the household, we heard it repeated, she said, when I saw the menorah on Fifth Avenue, when I saw the menorah on Fifth Avenue, I realized, as my man's arbet had such ongenommen in Welt, I realized that the work of my husband was accepted in the world. That's what the Debitzen said at that time. It was in the middle of Hanukkah, and Rabbi Chodakov calls me. Of course, he came, and he says, who is lighting? It was already the middle of Hanukkah. We already had commitments from the mayor, uh, from the senator, Senator Chavez at the time, from the attorney general, Louis Lefkowitz, from the controller of the city of New York, and so on. And we all, and we had more commitments. And then all of a sudden he asks, on Bob Abrams, does Robert Abrams also light? We kind of said that we have commitments. And Bob Abrams was an obscure politician. He was then the president of the borough of the Bronx, but he didn't hold statewide office and he didn't hold citywide office. But Avichodakov didn't argue. He, he made this point. He said, Medaf Einladen Bob Abrams, that Bob Abrams has to be invited. When I left this room, Avichodakov says, You should invite him, you invite him. And of course, that's what we did. And he came and he led the menorah and so on. A few years later, there were some people who didn't like the idea that the Rebbe is lighting public Hanukkah menorahs. And they started making problems. What did they say? You have to, it has to be a separation of church and state. How can you light a menorah on public, on public ground? There's no separ- it has to be a separation of church and state. And the Rebbe answered them, How can you say that it's not allowed when Robert Abrams, who is the Attorney General of the State of New York and the custodian of, of law and order in the State of New York, he himself lived the menorah. It's then that we realized that when Rabbi Chodakov said, um, Bob Abrams, he asked whether Bob Abrams is, is lighting. It's not a question that came from him. The Rebbe asked him to ask the question, and the Rebbe wanted Bob Abrams to light, because the Rebbe saw the future that the Attorney General of the State of New York, if he lights the menorah, there's no longer a question whether that, that is kosher within the limits of church and state.